Hello and welcome. I'm John Kettle from Tommy's Real Estate, the apartment specialist. We're going to mix things up today and do a market comment or a market commentary. Um, and before I go any further, I just want to make uh, sure we are aware of the date because the market does change from time to time. Today is the 4th of July, 2019. Uh, and uh, I want to talk to you about the market as it is at the moment. The market for me has been a wonderful success. Uh, we've had some great sales. I've had some great sales in the last three weeks. Um, and not only that, I've had a lot of fun and I've really loved the way that they've all panned out. Some great successes. We've had um, an apartment in Atlas House, and two in the Republic Building, one in Republic One and Republic Two. And they've all achieved record prices. Now looking back on those sales, I have to say that they all had something in common. Uh, and it just reinforces to me that good properties still sell in a good market. And one thing I can tell you that I've learned this year is that if, if properties aren't presented well, if there's something wrong with them, if you don't have your paperwork together properly, then you're going to struggle selling them. Um, but if everything is done right uh, and is set up properly, then you can expect the opposite to happen, happen. So with these apartments, they all achieved record prices, but they did follow the same formula. And for me, it covers a couple of headings, preparation, presentation, price, and method of sale. Now, preparation is two things. Firstly, these apartments were all staged, or I should say they were partially staged. They were all owner-occupied, so they were partially staged. In some, in some examples, we had... Um, uh, we took some furniture away and replaced it with some sta staging furniture. But basically what it did was make sure that all of those apartments were photo ready when they went on the market and they were photo ready for when they were prepared to go onto the internet. And they all looked fantastic. The second thing about preparation is that we had all of the paperwork that was required for these apartments before they went on the market. And that's paperwork like body corporate minutes, financial statements, um, body corporate rules, long-term maintenance plans, limb reports, all of those things, and in particular, um, the current certificate of, of currency for the um, insurance information. So those, those ingredients are really important, but I'll come to that to, to, uh, about that to you l later. The second thing, presentation of the apartment, I think, is, is really, really important, uh, and it does pay to make sure that your apartment, when it goes on the market, does look fantastic, because it does send a signal to purchasers. If your apartment is looking tired and scruffy, then it sends a signal as opposed to the signal it sends to um, buyers if it's, it's done up really nicely and, and photo ready. It shows the purchasers that you are expecting a premium. And that is what we want to achieve. Uh, now, the other thing, too, that the, these apartments all had in common was price. I believe that they were priced at a, at a point where they all were um, perceived by purchasers to be great value for money. And it is important to price any property, I believe, where buyers do see value for money so that they will inquire and they will see for themselves that there's some place that they want to live in or want to take further and explore um, and come and have a look at the open home and all of those sort of things. The other thing that was quite important in all of them is they were all sold by the same method of sale, uh, tender if not sold prior, uh, and that absolutely worked a treat. For each one of them, we sold the apartments in, in less than 10 days and some in a week, uh, and we got fantastic results. We got a really good uh, level of interest, and in all of them, we got multi-offers. So there's some very positive news out there for apartments in Wellington right at the moment. If they're prepared properly, and um, they're set up well, and they're priced properly, uh, and they're sold with the right method, you can expect them to sell well, and you can expect them to get a good price. However, the other ingredient that is involved with all of those is myself, dare I say it. Uh, having a, an apartment specialist is a distinct benefit for any seller who's trying to sell their apartment in Wellington. Knowing what you're doing and knowing how to conduct the sale uh, from a vendor's point of view and from a buyer's point of view is even more important today than it ever has been. So if you're thinking of selling your apartment in Tiaro or Thorndon or Wellington, Century, as Wellington Central, please feel free to give me a call. I'll be very happy to give you a no obligation um, market appraisal and we can see where it goes from there. So there you have it. Um, I should just, just say to you, just so you know, these were the three apartments that I was talking about 
Atlas House, um, sold in a week. Uh, in, this, in particular, this apartment, um, the purchasers had it for four years and they made over $100,000 in capital gain. This apartment here is in um, uh, Lawn Street uh, in Republic 2. They'd only had it for two years uh, and they decided to move on. For reasons of their own, they made $70,000 capital gain in a, in a situation where they paid a top dollar in a high market. And this one here is also a fantastic result in Republic 1. The purchaser bought, the, the vendor, sorry, bought this off the plans eight years ago and uh, he has achieved a capital gain in excess of $300,000. So three very happy vendors. Uh, so let me make you happy as well. I'd be very happy to do that. It's all happy. <laughs> so that's John Kettle, the apartment specialist from Tommy Real Estate. Thank you very much for tuning in. Bye for now.